again to the Medical Terminology Podcast. This episode is Chapter 10, Part 4, Pathologies Relating to the Peripheral Nervous System. Before we begin, let's review what is the peripheral nervous system composed of. Well, primarily, it's composed of 12 cranial nerves. These are nerves that go directly from the brain to the cranium. And we have the 31 spinal nerves. These nerves fan off from the spinal cord, and then they further subdivide and go out to various parts of the body. The textbook doesn't give us very many pathologies related to the peripheral nervous system. So this is going to be a pretty short episode, but if I had added these on to the previous part on the central nervous system, that podcast would have been pretty long. So here we go. First of all, there are two pathologies that cover the cranial nerves of the peripheral nervous system. The first one is called trigeminal neuralgia. Trigeminal is T-R-I-G-E-M-I-N-A-L, and neuralgia is N-E-U-R-A-L-G-I-A. Now, trigeminal refers to the trigeminal nerve, and this is the fifth cranial nerve that runs into basically the face itself, the skin of the face, the cheek area, etc. And if you have trigeminal neuralgia, you're going to have a sharp pain on the side of your face because this nerve has become inflamed. And that makes sense. Neuralgia would be, be literally nerve pain. So trigeminal neuralgia is going to be pain in the face because the fifth cranial nerve has become inflamed. Now the other one they give us is Bell's palsy. B-E-L-L apostrophe S and then palsy. P-A-L-S-Y. And this involves the seventh cranial nerve. If the seventh cranial nerve is disrupted, you would have a drooping face. It's a drooping face caused by a problem with the seventh cranial nerve. And those are the only two pathologies they give us that are directly related to the cranial nerves. Then the textbook talks about another condition that involves the myelin sheath of the peripheral nerves. And we don't want to confuse this one with multiple sclerosis. Because if you remember, what does multiple sclerosis involve? Well, it involves the myelin sheath of the central nervous system. And what is the central nervous system composed of? Well, it's composed of the brain and the spinal cord. So the central nervous system, brain and spinal cord, multiple sclerosis affects the myelin sheath of the brain and spinal cord. This pathology we're, we're trying to get to here is called Guillain-Barre syndrome. A little tricky to spell. We need to be careful about this. G-U-I-L-L-A-I-N hyphen B-A-R-R-E Guillain-Barre syndrome. S-Y-N-D-R-O-M-E It's also referred to as polyneuritis. And this involves an inflammation of the myelin sheath of the peripheral nerves, and it's characterized by muscle weakness and temporary paralysis. And this is an autoimmune reaction. Multiple sclerosis is also autoimmune. Guillain-Barre is an autoimmune reaction that one has after an infection or an immunization. So the immune system riles up and it attacks the myelin sheath of the peripheral nerves. Again, that's different from multiple sclerosis where we have an autoimmune reaction attacking the myelin sheath of the brain and spinal cord. 
Okay, and the final section that I'm going to tie in here to peripheral nerves relates to sensations. And some of these can be a little confusing, either because the terms sound a little similar or, again, because of spelling. First one we can look at is paresthesia, P-A-R-E-S-T-H-E-S-I-A. And this is an abnormal tingling or prickling sensation, paresthesia. Hyperesthesia, H-Y-P-E-R-E-S-T-H-E-S-I-A, is an excessive sensitivity to stimulation. Causalgia, C-A-U-S-A-L-G-I-A, -A, is a burning pain that you feel. And finally, we have peripheral neuropathy. P-E-R-I-P-H-E-R-A-L, neuropathy, N-E-U-R-O-P-A-T-H-Y. And this is a pain in the hands and feet that is caused by damaged nerves. Usually they're damaged by diabetes. Let's go ahead and do some practice. What is the term for a burning pain? That's causalgia, C-A-U-S-A-L-G-I-A. -A. What is the term for an excessive sensitivity to stimulation? That's hyperesthesia, H-Y-P-E-R-E-S-T-H-E-S-I-A. What is the term for an abnormal tingling or prickling sensation? That's paresthesia, P-A-R-E-S-T-H-E-S-I-A. -E -E and what is the term for pain in the hands and feet? that is caused when diabetes damages these peripheral nerves. That's peripheral neuropathy, P-E-R-I-P-H-E-R-A-L, neuropathy, N-E-U-R-O-P-A-T-H-Y. And what is the term for the disease or disorder where the fifth cranial nerve is inflamed or damaged, causing sharp pain on the side of the face. That's trigeminal neuralgia, T-R-I-G-E-M-I-N-A-L, neuralgia, N-E-U-R-A-L-G-I-A. And what is the term for a disease where the seventh cranial nerve is inflamed or damaged, causing a drooping face? That's Bell's palsy, B-E-L-L -L apostrophe S, palsy, P-A-L-S-Y. And finally, what is the term for the inflammation of the myelin sheath of the peripheral nerves that often occurs after an infection or immunization? Well, that's the Guillain-Barre syndrome. G-U-I-L-L-A-I-N hyphen B-A- R R E syndrome S Y N D R O M E. Well, okay, as I said, this episode was going to be shorter than the others. That covers the pathologies related to the peripheral nervous system. And in the next part, we're going to look at the terminology that's related 
to mental health. This ends this episode of the Medical Terminology Podcast.